Hello, Brother Billy. Hello, Brother Anthony. Yeah. At the top of the New Year, too, as they say in Ireland. I'm not refer referencing Ireland. Oh, anyway. Look, Brother Billy. You know, it feels good to be back in the saddle again, sort of, well, speaking of Americanism, but you know, we have all these kind of romantic ideas of American when they're riding the saddles, because America had a whole wild west where they're killing Indians and stuff. But anyway, it doesn't matter. This is not what I want to talk about today. See, I've been in Cape Town for a bit here, you know, and I realized that a little bit of time I spent in Cape Town, I had more intellectual stimulus in Cape Town than I got in this whole university. That's not a slight on the university exactly, it's just that this sort of circles that I travel in in Cape Town is a little bit deeper than the circles I travel here, only because here people don't really get together, but that's neither here nor there, it's not a problem. Look, there was this thing that I went to, this is what, this is what I really want to talk about. Uh, it was a Sunday. I was in uh, Kailicha in Cotorado Square. They was in the program. They invited me. I was supposed to be a guest speaker. You know, I had my topic and everything. Um, my topic was, you've been listening to the wrong Americans. <laughs> oh, yeah, but the, but the, the way the structure, way the structure on this Sunday, they have they have a discussion, open discussion, and then they have a film, and then you're supposed to have a discussion on the film, and then there's a cultural presentation, you know, later on, where you have the poetry, bands, whatever it is. Good cultural things, Some, similar to what I want to do here when I do my PhD, and this, uh, I think I want to set up here on the university. Okay, so we're there, and so uh, when I first come in, I'm, I'm there on time as usual, early, and uh, this guy comes in, and he's supposed to be the facilitator for this first open discussion, you know, so he sits down, the first thing that comes out of his mouth is that, I'm angry, I want to kill all white people, I want to get an AK-47 and kill all the white people. I'm like, whoa, this is heavy, okay. So he's going on and on. Then I, then I say, look, I don't agree with any of that. That's what I said. And I said, that didn't put me instead of me jumping right in. I said, well, do you, do you agree with that? I'm talking to you. It's like a large circle. Mm -hmm. Everybody started talking, you know what I mean? And he was upset because I guess he's supposed to facilitate it. And here I am messing this little thing up with this little explain. So he goes around. Then finally comes, he said, he comes to me and I said, listen, here's why I don't agree with anything you said. I said, do you, do you make AK-47? Do you make the bullets? I mean, do you, how are you going to get this? How are you going to keep on? Look, look, I said, look, the guy that invented the AK-47, he was a soldier, Russian soldier, you know, Soviet soldier, whatever he was. And, uh, and, he, and the reason why he invented this is because, you know, his comrades, his, his fellow fighters, they had you know, the guns with jam and stuff like that, so he made a better gun. I said, I respect you more. If you remember, they, the materials for that gun come out of the earth, namely a lot of African. <laughs> materials. So that I respect you more if you go there and you go into the African earth and make your own, you know, for sun, call it whatever you want to call it, you know, and, and make your own bullets. I respect you more, but since you don't have to wear it, how are you going to kill? How are you going to do this? He was just a little upset, you know. Anyway, we went through this whole thing. This other sister was trying to say something. Oh, you know, it went to, then we saw the movie, and then afterwards, he, he again started, and he started this big advertising about his organization, whatever he does. And then I jumped in again. And I said, look, here's the problem I have with all our things, this whole thing, economics and everything like that. It's simple. It's like, you see this? I was wearing this. I said, just, you know, so my wife made this. Made for African fabric. Just had made from African. Well, I showed them the bag that I got from Dumbasa, you know, my sling bag that I have. It comes from a from, from, from kid from Dumbasa. So you don't even, you're not even wearing stuff that <laughs> that you made. Like, look at this brother back here, brother. Bro, uh, bag from Cameroon. I said, you know, oh, why aren't we buying even our own clothes? How are we going to buy our own guns? We can't even buy our own clothes. That's what I'm thinking, you know. Now, here's a, here's a, here's a trick. I didn't say to the brother because I figured he wasn't really listening anyway. I respect them more if he went to, they went and got a bunch of 3D machines and made their own guns out of the 3D machines and bullets out of 3D machines. But they don't even have that thought. He just want to kill people. No plan, no strategy, no tactics. I, I, was, I just, just don't understand. So that was my little trip, you know, on, 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 on this particular, this particular. Here's a, here's a funny thing. 
since he couldn't challenge me or anything, his boy, because he did, 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 did cause, you know, it would this, when he, he was a leader of some, some people that were there. His boy said to me, oh yeah, since I was going through my whole thing, he says, well, what about those glasses? See, these are my, these are my fake products, you know. We got it from an African guy, 40 rand, it's like $4. So you know they're fake, fake products. And so I started to tell him, I started to tell him something, but I said, no, I see what it is. All they want to do is win the argument. They don't want to make, they don't want to do strategy and tactics. All anybody, and what I'm realizing, there's a lot of politics going around the world. All people want to do is win the argument. They seem like this is this side and that side. They just want to win the argument. They don't want to do anything real political or statesman like whatever. No, they just want to win the argument. And when they won the argument, what do they have? I, I don't know, they've won the argument. So anyway, this, <laughs> it's just me, man, about my little time in Cape Town, which I thoroughly enjoyed. You know, now I'm back in Alice, University of Fort Hare, doing my studies. Anyway, with this uh, studies in Guam, this is a dispatch from the Austria Commerce. That would be me, T, for the Palace and taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. Mm. Traveling around. Yeah. <laughs>